Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush and in this lecture, as you can see my screen, we are going to discuss about auditing in Oracle database. So what is auditing and why we do auditing? What is the purpose of auditing that we need to understand first? So I'll give you a very simple example. Let's say I want to know that which user is performing some insert operations update operations delete operations let's take an example i have one table is there okay and this table is very very crucial table i'm talking about the emp and in that we have this id name and let's say salary is also available okay there is a chances that someone might be looking to the salary of any all the employee right there is a chances that someone may, might be write down the query like select salary from this EMP table. So I want to know that who is running the select command on the salary column for this particular table, right? So any operations like any DML operations, let's take an example like your insert, update, delete, any DDL operations like your create, alter, all these things or if someone is giving a privileges also to any user administrator kind of activities everything can be tracked by using this by using this auditing see by default when you talk about the oracle database i want to know that which user has been logged in and of what time he has been logged in i will not be able to track that information so if you want to track the information like okay there is an ABC person, he has logged into the Oracle database by 6.30 p.m. I can get this information from the Oracle database if you enable the auditing. So auditing is very, very important, specific for the database, which databases are very, very critical. And sometimes client want this information that if someone is doing the operations like DML operations, DDL operations, Basically, he want to track the session also. Basically, he want to track the session details. Along with that administrative details, everything you can track if you enable the auditing. So one of my students, he got an interview questions in the last interview. An interviewer was asking that there is a user. He is connecting to the Oracle database. But when he is connecting to the Oracle database, he is getting the message like incorrect user ID and password. Maybe incorrect user ID or password. So I want to know the information of that user. Who is that user who is getting the error message like incorrect user ID and password. So if you want to track the details like when which user means what is the username, what time he has been logged in, whether the login was success because if he is entering the correct user ID and password, it will be success, it will be failure or it can be incorrect user ID and password also, right? Every small, small details, you can get it, you can get it by using the auditing. So there might be question in your mind that then every database, why we are not enable the auditing, right? What is the reason why, why all the database do not have the auditing? See, because when you perform the auditing operations okay it will generate the audit logs okay it will generate audit logs so whenever someone is doing insert means dml operations ddl operations or any operations corresponding their transactions or corresponding whatever they are doing the audit logs will get generated just like we have archive logs are there right similar way audit logs will be generated this audit log destination you can set in any location let's say you set it in slash data location so when so many audit logs are coming over here what will happen this destination this file system will become full so regularly what you need to do you need to remove this older audit log so audit log which has been older than 15 days or 13 days you can remove this older audit logs also that is an extra work for the oracle database administrator Second thing is when this auditing is happening, this is an extra overhead work for the Oracle database. Because when this auditing is enabled, the resources like your CPU, memory, your IO performance will be downgraded for the Oracle database. 
So we try to configure auditing, obviously yes, but on the databases where the critical applications are hosted, you want to know that which user is doing what, right? In that case, we try to enable the auditing. So definitely there will be a question in your mind that how to enable the auditing, right? How to enable the auditing. But again, like you know, this video is very, very long. It's quite difficult to explain everything into the single video. So what I will do, I'll create a separate video on it. If you are interested, if you are interested to know more about this auditing, you can just put interested into the comment sections. And if you are looking for real time database training, you can reach out to the Learnomic team. The numbers are available over the screen. And one more thing, you can follow us on our Instagram, social media, LinkedIn, everything is available in the description of this video. I hope you have liked this video. If you have any questions, queries, anything, please ask me in the comment section. I will definitely respond to that. But make sure that, you know, you need to subscribe and share this channel with everyone. So if you're a friend, anyone who want to start their career into the DBA technologies, refer us, okay, because we provide the based Oracle DBA training and we are based in that. Thank you and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.